In this Caden Live tutorial, I will show you how to edit a sequence of vertical video clips. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Okay, well, it's, it's a while since I've worked with Caden Live, um, so bear with me. I've got to sort of remind myself how to do this. Um, one thing, if you've never used Caden Live, especially if you're in Windows, I would go for the standalone version. Now, the only problem with the standalone version is when you upload it, you'll get something like this. It'll say standalone exe. You double click it, let win accept Windows banner, which stops you initially in um, opening it up, and you'll end up with a folder probably in your downloads, which will say standalone. If you double click this, it's not obvious how you open up um, Caden Live. If you double click bin, very carefully, just scroll down and it's easy to miss. You'll see something called Caden Live EXE and it'll be quite a large folder. You're looking for the EXE and just double click this and it will open up the video editor. You want to make sure that you're in editing, so select this, and also, obviously, if you're going to head and just um, render your videos, you can make a start now. But this is set up for um, 16:9 aspect ratio HD, um, so you need to change a few things. So what I would do, especially if you're new, come up to project select this and select project settings now what's this setup yeah this is set the default setting looks like 1920 1080 25 frames per second so I want to change this um, you can change your settings for HD or 4k that's pretty straightforward but the vertical one is actually hidden away you got custom right at the very bottom select the little arrow next to it and somewhere down here yeah is vertical HD video so it'll say you haven't got a lot of options you've only got 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second my videos actually are 50 frames per second so I think I can probably work with 30 this is what the output will be when I render it not what I'm working with so I'm going to just select 30 frames per second also come up to proxy and just make sure there's a tick in the enable proxy clips um, this will create um, smaller fold files to work with it just makes editing a bit easier it won't affect the actual um, final result so we got proxy selected vertical HD and I'll just select OK don't worry about this Gump, just select O continue and you'll end up with your vertical video format make sure that the project bin is set it set you don't want these selected you want project bin and rather than going through the palaver of importing through this uh, bin here I always make sure that I've got my videos already selected and I'll just drag them into the bin and that's fine now it says no profile found for your clip what it's basically telling me is it hasn't found a 50 it's what it's trying to do is find um, something that's 50 frames per second so I'm going to just select continue because I'm not worried about that so everything's looking good here and if you look it should be converting this to a proxy clip now it doesn't always work so if you select your first clip 
right click on it and just select proxy clip and again proxy clip and again and wait till the proxies have loaded so we've now got these proxy clips so in Caden Live and most video editors I don't cut my clips in the timeline it's easier especially if you want to work quite quickly to say double click your first clip and you can either a play your clip stop it at the point you want it to start and it's difficult to see but you've got a couple of buttons here one's for setting the zone in and one's for setting it out which will be the end so with the pointer at the point where I want the video to start I'm going to select set zone in play the video stop it at the point I want it to finish which is here and I'll hit set zone out if I can't remember I may, it might even be you can press O on your keyboard no some video editors you can just press O so I'm going to just select this set zone out so now this video will only play from these points here and I'm going to just drag the video into the timeline track so it snaps up and now if I just press play on this monitor it will only play this section of clip which is fine now the reason I do it this way is because if I wanted to I could just drag this out a bit and just drag this out I can change it because I haven't cut it whereas if I cut the clip although I could make it shorter and I could change the end this way as well so like obviously this end here I've still got this space I can drag this out if I want so just worth bearing in mind cutting your clips means that's it final unless you're going to make it even shorter so let's do the second one and again in fact do I want to do that one let's do this one maybe this one yeah that's a more interesting one okay so a bit of time I'm going to just drag this along this marker along here I'm going to set it in drag this one along this way and set out drag this in and snap it up like this what this means is I can if I want change the length of this one in this direction and this one this way rather than if they were close together so that's fine so done one that one let's do this one this one doesn't do that much so we'll stop it here set it in press play that's good enough for this tutorial and again drag this one into here should snap up one more and again this one doesn't do that much so we'll run it maybe set this in press play wait till you get bored stop and set out so using these two buttons here and we'll just drag this in and snap it up using this project uh, monitor here you don't want um, project notes you want to make sure project monitor is selected with your pointer right at the beginning and this is where proxies come in handy I'll just show you so like if this was say open shot 
you couldn't do this. Um, but anyway, that's another story. So let's press play and make sure we're happy. with that so I'm not going to change anything here um, pretty obvious up here it says render select this output file this is going to place it in my videos folder so you can change where it goes if you want just select the little folder here and freeze this bang it on the desktop um, and I don't know give it a total I'm gonna call it, call it what you want save and then you've got options for what format you want to use for your output So let's go, I don't know, yeah, some of them are not obvious, audio, yeah, you don't seem to have a lot of options right now in Caden Live, so let's go, yeah, MP4, f yeah, AHC, that's the audio, we'll, we'll select this one, quality, I'm going to crack it right up because I don't see the point in losing quality and render to file select this oh make sure full project is selected as well and you'll have to wait for this to render I'll come back to it when it's finished rendering once your video is finished rendering you can select remove job if you want or just close this I'm not going to go into that and then hopefully you should have a video that plays back in fact that's pretty good that I've always liked Caden Life I tend to use DaVinci Resolve these days but um, yeah pretty impressed with that works for me Hopefully this helps someone. Thank you for watching. Cheers.